I have my glue, I have some tape, and my scissors. So the first thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to color in a nice background. So you can do half, half the paper you can color blue if you want for the sky. The other part you can color green if you want for the forest floor or some brown for the forest floor. And we're just going to take a crayon, here's my green crayon, and you're just going to you're just going to color it like this, okay? It's just going to be the background, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But the top half, oop, I'm going to reverse mine. The top half will be blue, and the bottom half can be green or brown, okay? So why don't we take a few minutes, and we'll give that a shot, all right, guys? So get out your crayons. I'm going to start on my green forest floor. You can use a couple different colors if you want. So it's always nice to, to uh, get a few different colors going, right? So you can do a light green, you can do a dark green, whatever you want to do. There's no wrong or right to this because it's an art project. There's no mistakes in art. Well, I should say, <clears throat> If you, if you think you've made a mistake, you really haven't made a mistake. Just try and make something else out of it. Okay. I'm gonna get a few different greens on my forest floor. And I, I'll probably put a little bit of marble here too. Now my brown crayon. I'm going to color that right on top of my green. So I'm overlapping my colors, guys. Can you see that? So you can overlap your colors and make, and make new colors. Because I think when I look at a forest floor, it is kind of brown. And then there's always little leaves and little grasses popping up. So. That's why I'm just gonna shade some brown on top of this green. Is anybody else doing that the same, green and brown? Yeah, okay, good. This is like a private art lesson for you guys. <laughs> I was always coloring something when I was a kid. I had so many coloring books. Do you guys still use coloring books? Do you have, anybody have coloring books? No? You do? Oh, good. I'm glad they haven't gone away. I still have my coloring books from when I was your age. I'm gonna put some blue in the sky now. I'll probably put a few different color blues on there. I want a really pretty blue sky. <clears throat> Most of this coloring will be covered up by what we put on top of it anyway, so don't worry about it being perfect, all right? So we're gonna be collaging right on top of that. We just have to get just some color on the paper. Okay. Take a look at mine for a minute, guys. Take a look. This is all we really need, something like this. How's everybody's looking? Is it looking good? It's looking pretty good, I think. 
All right. Yeah, I'm not perfect. Grass, a little bit taller, but excellent. That's okay. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> yeah. So when you guys are done, let me know, okay? I'm gonna color in a little bit more of my blue, maybe put a different color on it. So while I'm waiting for you guys, I'll just do that. And then we're gonna get started making our collage, our fantasy forest. I'm done. You're done? Let's see. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what it should look like. All right, anybody else done? Hold it up. You're done too? Hold it up. Let's see. Oh, perfect. Good, all right, everybody, is everybody else done too? All right, I'm gonna finish up my blue and then we're gonna get started on the, on the collage part. Okay. All right, are we all ready? Give me a thumbs up. Yeah? Okay, guys. So, you guys have your magazine or your newspaper, right? You're going to take your newspaper and your scissor and I'll show you one. We're going to cut our tree trunks. So we just have to make our tree trunk just a strip, just like this. So you can make as many trees as you want. You can make five trees, you can make four trees, six trees, and they can be different sizes too. You can make them really skinny or really fat or really tall or really short. So I'm going to make a shorter one right now. So they can just be any size you want on the paper because trees come in all shapes and sizes. So go ahead and cut some tree trunks and we're going to glue those right on our paper, okay? Does anybody want to see the, um, the sample again? To make sure you have it all, you're all good. I think they're good. <laughs> Does anybody know what collage means? Collage means just using a whole bunch of different material to create a picture. So that's what we're doing today. We're using live leaves and twigs and flowers and paper and glue. And even if you have some yarn or anything else, and you put it all together, that, that makes a collage. It's always a good idea to put a tree trunk right on the spot where your two pieces of paper are joined together. That way we cover up that seam. Nobody will ever know that seam is there if you've joined two pieces of paper together. Okay, I have my tree trunks. I'll wait for you guys. After we do our tree trunks, we're gonna outline them in black 
crayon so we can see them better. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll hold it up for you guys to see. All right, take a look up here, everyone. You see mine? See how I outline them in the black crayon so you can see them really well, okay? So after you're done gluing down your tree trunks, just give it an outline in black or brown or whatever color you wanna use. And I'll wait for you till everybody's ready. And you know what, guys, this is always a fun project to do any time you feel like you, you don't have anything to do, you don't know what to do, you can always make a collage, right? You can give it to your family member, you can send it to a friend, you can give it to a grandma or grandpa. It's always nice to receive something that's handmade. All right, how are we doing? Does everybody have their tree trunks done? Give a thumbs up if you have yours done. Anybody? Yours are done, yours are done, done. Okay, let's see, hold it up so I can see what you did. Oh, that looks great. Oh, perfect. Yay. All right. Someone else hold theirs up. Let me see. Excellent work. Oh, wow. We have a little extra stuff on the top there. Yay. Good. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, guys. Why don't we start adding on the other stuff? So at this point, you can really do whatever you want. If you want to cut some pretty pictures out of your magazine and you can glue them on the bottom for bushes or flowers, you can take leaves that you've gathered and you can put them on your tree for the leaves, like this big, big old leaf here. I may want to make a palm tree. And I'll stick a couple of these around and make a nice palm tree. So we're gonna be creative and look through our magazine and our colored pages and see what we have. I even have this little gnome here. Look at my little gnome. I may cut him out and put him in the forest, right? So let's see. Even if you just have the color green like this, you can cut a leaf shape out of this and just use it for the color. So I'll show you what I mean by that. This is a picture of a plant, but I'm just gonna cut a leaf shape out. So I just used it like this, just for the color. So you can do that too. Just find a colorful page and cut shapes out. So I'm gonna make a few leaves out of that. and then I can glue them around. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like in one second. This is a chance that we can use to do anything we want to. You can come up with any shape you want. Okay. 
You can work it however you want in whatever order you want, okay? You can work on the forest floor if you want. You can work on the treetops. You can work in the middle. You can, whatever you want to do is fine. You can even have things stick off of your page, like how I'm putting this leaf on. See how I put this leaf on? So it's kind of sticking above the tree. So don't be afraid to do that, okay? Make things pop off the page. You can stick up in the air. If you have questions, just shout it out, all right? If I'm not looking up, just say, hey, Miss Robin, I have a question. Has anybody ever done a collage before in school, maybe? Everybody's so busy uh. working. <laughs> Want to take a look? See my crazy tree top? Well, that's pretty. So don't be afraid to do whatever you, however crazy you want to be. I'm going to work a little bit on the forest floor now. Maybe I'll make a little hill with some leaves on it. I'll show you what that looks like. So check this out, guys. So I have this little lump of paper that I just have. It's, it's just a little plant on some dirt. And I cut it in half. See how I cut that in half? So the reason why I did that is because I want to make it look like it's going behind the tree. So if I put one half here and one half here, it looks like it's behind the tree, right? So let me glue that down and I'll show you, and you can see what that looked like exactly. It's just a little trick. And look how it looks now. It looks like it's behind the tree, right? So you cut something in half and put it on each side of your tree trunk. That way you create some depth in your picture. You can draw anything you want. You can draw little animals, you can draw birds, you can draw squirrels, whatever you want to do. Thank you for bringing that up. I forgot to say that. I had another girl, she drew a peacock in her, in her forest, so whatever you want to draw is fine. Maybe there's a Bigfoot there. Does anybody know what Bigfoot is? This imaginary like a big bear that lives in the forest. They call him Bigfoot. Look at all these beautiful flowers that I have here. I'm gonna cut them out.
I'm just gonna cut mine out as circles. I'm not gonna cut mine out exactly. That takes too long. But I think the circles look really pretty as flowers. Whoa, that looks great. Is that blue? Is that a lake in your forest? You have a lake there? Yeah? Maybe you want to draw on a separate paper, maybe some ducks or something that are swimming in that lake? Or maybe some fish or some frogs? Ooh, or a mermaid? A mermaid! Ooh. I love mermaid. Have you ever seen Little Mermaid? You, you've you never seen The Little Mermaid? No, I have. I love it. Oh, okay. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> That's a good one. We saw that on Broadway. It was so good. Oh, yeah. I took my daughter, I think, when she was eight. Oh, that's a good she one. loved it. I was broke for a couple of months, but she <laughs> <laughs> loved it. All right, let's oh, keep working on that. I love it. I'm gonna put some big, I'm gonna pretend that this juniper is grass. I'm gonna put it on the, on the floor of the forest for grass. So let's see how that looks. I can actually pick it apart and make smaller pieces. Well, they can look like little baby trees. You have a unicorn? Well, it, it, it's supposed to be a unicorn. Oh, everything's falling down. <laughs> Here's my unicorn. Yeah, I have my tape on hand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It didn't dry oh, yet. Yeah. Got to put these guys back on. Yeah, a couple of my things fell off, too. Yeah. It's okay. Has anyone drawn any magical creatures on theirs? Ooh, any ma Oh, look at Emmy. Say hello to my cat. Ooh, cute. Say hi, Emmy. <laughs> hey, Oh, wow, that is quite a forest. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Good job, everyone. Looks awesome. You guys are working much faster than me. You think I should put the little, the little, uh, the little gnome in now, guys? Let's see. Does anybody have a good name for the gnome? What should we name him? Yally? Yally. Okay. Yally. Yally the gnome. That sounds good to me. Oh, yeah, he looks good. Check out where I put Yowley. He's in there with the flowers. Let's 
you guys have pictures of yourself that you photocopied, you can always cut yourself out and put them in the forest too, right? Mommy, look, I'm in the car. You could be playing in the forest somewhere. Let's see. All right, everybody take a look up. We're gonna show our artwork now. Whoa, look at that. I love it. They turned out fantastic. I'm so proud of you guys. Was it fun? Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad. So listen, so maybe your mom or dad can take a picture with their phone and then they can send that into the library and then we'll, we'll post it on the website, okay? That'll be awesome, guys. Yeah, show everyone what they're missing. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Well, I enjoyed seeing everybody today and I thank you so much for doing an art project with me. And I hope to see you again and I hope that you guys keep on drawing and coloring and creating beautiful pieces of artwork, okay? All right. Make sure, make sure okay. to sign up for summer reading, okay, guys? You can get prizes for reading books over the summer. All right, so uh, make sure you tell your parents to sign you up for summer reading. That we'll have a bunch good, of other, guys. other uh, games and crafts all summer long, okay? All right. Bye, guys. Have a great summer. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.